Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Factorio in our main bus map. Iron throughput is up. It's come up a bit, we've seen some, some more circuit production, maybe. We'll see more of everything, really. Lasers are finished. I guess we'll research gates. Small attacks that are not really affecting us too much. Um, we should be seeing some of these get made. We're, we're gonna build up the lowest level before we get the highest level. And actually, I was rethinking how I did this. So right now, this thing only works if there are more than 20 in there, right? So what I want to actually do is I want to change it. I want to put a smart inserter here. And then I want to just do fast inserter, fast inserter, steel chest, smart chest. And then we need some power over here. Okay, so you're always allowed, always allowed to feed this thing gears. Always. Maximum gears in the box is 200. Let's wire it up. This one is only going to steal gears from this gear factory's production if there are more than, say, 20. There's always going to be 20 available for this factory, and that's the purpose of this one. But if it if it can, it will throw extras into what will become a logistics chest. So that way this thing will always have the gears that it needs, but if it can produce gears for the network, it will. That's kind of the way that I wanted to do it earlier. I don't know if I did the same thing on someone somewhere else, but this one maybe. This one would also be a good spot to do that. We'll do this one the other way. I've never really used a lot of these green ones before, so it's kind of fun to, to use some more wiring. Wait a minute. I don't think I did it right. Yeah, I didn't do it right. This one needs to be a logistics chest. This one needs to be the smart chest, because that's where it's measured. Okay, how do you... What's the keyboard shortcut to get rid of wires? Remove pull cables. Shift left mouse. Alright. Try that again. If there are greater than 20 in this box, then you're allowed to steal them. So we actually don't need very many in this box at all. Let's go make sure we did the other one right. No, see, I wired it up wrong. This one's stealing them all. This one's not getting any. Okay, we'll get to reverse the chests then. Just take it all apart. Sensor chest. Okay. You make gears, the gears all go to you. Unless you have an abundance. In which case, you're allowed to steal some off. Got it. We should have, yep, 100 in there. 21. And we haven't made any of these yet. But we will. I could use a couple more blue inserters, or blue of these guys. Okay, how's iron throughput doing? It went up for a bit, and then it came back down. Okay. 
what seems to be the shortage. Not all of the furnaces are running, so that must mean we don't have enough iron ore coming in. Yeah, it's just not reaching the end. We need more iron ore. I fully tap that one, fully tap this one. Let's go secure another one. I've got to get oil going, otherwise we're going to fall behind when it's time to do blue science. Hmm. No, we don't need to make any of these because we can... We have them all created automatically. I think I'll go ahead and put down four here. A few base defenses. I know I have an idea in my head of how I want to do the the oil layout for now, but moving into oil is definitely like a a mental block for me. It's it it's where everything gets a little bit more complicated, and you know. I didn't do that right. Oh, we run really weird. Okay. So that gives us a little bit more iron ore. This this belt's not laden, so don't need to worry about increasing any of that. We shouldn't see a shortage or any kind of issues up here. I think any of the bends are going to slow anything down. The attack to the north is causing some damage to the wall, but not much. As long as they have ammo, they seem to be holding out all right. Well, since I'm afraid of getting all up to oil, let's just do some like bullet damage upgrades. I'm not afraid of oil, that's not what I mean to say. We've got four storage tanks. I don't even think we need the storage tanks, actually, for what I want to do. Let's grab some stone bricks. They're attacking that again already. What I need more of are the chemical plants. Wire steel plate. Fortunately, we have some of that. I need to grab some fuel. I don't like these things flashing at me. Let's get rid of them. I'm going to take all the steel for myself. And we're going to make one, three or four of these guys. We need a couple of pump jacks. We already have them. And what I'm picturing is we'll do the oil processing like really far above the main bus. And then we'll bring the plastic and the batteries, sulfuric acid, down to the bus. So for now, let's find a good, decent yield. I think that one's the best. We'll grab our oil refinery, and let's just say we're going to do the actual... Let's just do the smelting, like, right here. Really far away for now. And I've used up most of my pipe in making these plants. I'm going to steal that pipe there. Actually, like, maybe a higher limit there. Under pipe to ground, that's... Actually, a lot. You know what? I'm going to use a lot of pipe. Maybe we even increase that a little bit. And then what I want to do is, for now, so we don't have to worry about storage tanks, we'll just grab the chemical plants. And over here, we're going to go one and two. And then that's fine. You're going to make solid fuel from light. You're going to make solid fuel from heavy. And then we're just going to hook these up with regular 
pipe. And this is going to be plastics for now. And actually, why don't we throw down the other one? I'm gonna. I need self. I need batteries researched, but we do need plastics. And the reason we're doing two for solid fuel is I just don't want to deal with storage yet. So we'll store it in a chest. I have no electric cables. I need to get some more wood. thing that this thing needs is coal. It'd be so convenient if there was a small coal deposit. Like right here. Cool. This coal will be special for the plastic. More tax. What are we gonna do? Hey, there's your fuel. And I'd like this to come out kind of evenly, but actually, we could just use a load balancer. It'd be simpler. Okay, so you'll come down that way. It's all coming on one side, so we want it to be on both sides. So we'll put that splitter there. And when we are ready, we can do some advanced circuitry production now. So to do that, I think we'll actually set up another circuit manufacturing spot up here. Go a little ways off, and we'll go copper, copper, copper. Maybe not that so copper, copper, copper. Uh, circuit, circuit. And so that'll find that'll make all of the circuits that we need. Now I want to make advanced circuitry, which is going to be. I'd like it to be... I want it to go north. Why don't we just run... This is going to be where the circuits go. That might be too much. Well, no. Assuming that you're making advanced circuits, we'll need some coil, means we need a piece of copper. I think I want like eight of these things making advanced circuits. I don't know that we'll, we'll have the throughput for that yet, but... Alright, let's do some more bullet shooting speed, that kind of thing. Keep ourselves well defended. Let's see. First things first, let's get the copper up there. And I think I have advanced, uh, yeah. Medium electric pulse, nice. These are much nice, not much nicer to use. That's right, you needed iron too. How 
How do we do that down here? We ran the iron right through it. And then had it pick on on both sides. That, that looks good. Guess we'll go here and here. I mean, why not? And we will do some storage chests as well. We have plenty of steel. Let's just make all steel chests now. We'll have our buffer. And then onto the track you go. All right. I need this. This thing could support so much more iron. As we continue to expand, we're just gonna need need to really make a lot more iron. All right, so we've got the two resources that we need. Now we just need some copper cabling. Do we want to do copper cabling off of this, and then maybe move the plastic over? I'm kind of seeing the advanced circuit production being like here. You know, I'm making this all up on the fly, so try not to give me too hard of a time about it. Hmm. I've done a layout before where you have the advanced circuits above a thing of coil. And you have the coil actually going on a belt. They don't need much. They actually don't need very much copper cabling. And they build slowly. You can support a lot of advanced circuit factories off one coil. How's the ammo supply? 17. So we got a little bit more time before we have to go up there again. Okay. I'm going to think about this for a little bit, but I'm going to take a break here. And I will see you in the next video, I hope. Thanks for watching. See you soon.